Hello everybody, Merry Christmas! Or at least hopefully it will be Christmas when you see this. Um, fingers crossed I can get this all done and out by tomorrow. I may have waited till just a tiny bit at the last minute. But yeah, so welcome back. Today's video is very, very special. It is number one, it is the start of a series that I'm hoping to just kind of spread around randomly because as you know as I feel inspired um, and it's also a Christmas gift to my friend Megan. Megan, Merry Christmas. I really hope you like this. Okay. Today's video is um, part of what I like what I think I'm going to call my storybook challenge part one. And the storybook challenge is when I go and find um, a book character that I particularly like or um, that particularly interests me and then do kind of a makeup look either to kind of sort of semi-cosplay them or kind of inspired by them. So today I'm doing um, a look for one of Megan's book characters named Reba. Her full name is Kiera Erebus Rajani, and then she goes by Reba. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of the character that I'm doing so that you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, or rather finish off, as you can see I've got some makeup on already. I did go ahead and just do a basic face, just the lightest little contour, you know, just what I like with the face. Um, one thing you may have noticed about Reba is that she is, I'd, she looks about mid-toned mid dark skin color wise. I can't fix that. I am very pale. I cannot fix that. And so I'm just going to work with what I've got for right now. Um, her makeup is very minimal, except for that fun eyeliner. That's what we're going to focus on today, but I am going to do a few little touches that are kind of inspired by versus um, being, like, that are a little bit more inspired by rather than just straight cosplay. So, for example, um, you can see there's a lot of purple in her look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit and grab this shade Spectra, this really dark purple highlight, with my Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush. Kind of dig right on in there. And then just add that as highlighter step one. This doesn't have a mirror. This would be a lot easier with a mirror. Let me get a mirror. Here we go. Little bitty one. On the other side. And this is a super dark highlight, so I'm actually going to mix it with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette, the shade, whoop, the shade White Lily right here. Looks like it's straight white, but it actually reflects purple. So you can see that you can kind of see the dark purple. So I'm gonna kind of mix this in with it to give it a little bit more of a light purpley kind of a glow happening. So you can definitely see the shadow of it, but this is just for fun, so I'm not really too worried about it. Now I'm gonna grab my small highlighter brush. Where did I put it? This guy, it's become my small highlighter brush, dip into Spectra, dip in my nose, on the bridge of my nose and kind of up here over my brows which I didn't do much to today because um, Reba's kind of got very thin very unnoticeable brows so I just kind of brushed through mine with a gel and just let them stay like that and I'm gonna dip back into White Lily Whoop. 
This is actually probably a highlight that would look really, really pretty on Riva. Just from what I've seen. It's definitely not my mixture, if you can tell. But I like it. It does what it needs to do. And I'm not really going to do much as far as eyeshadow. But again, kind of invoking the purple Reba thing, I'm going to grab my Morphe 35P. And I'm going to dip into the shade Dimple right here with a with my Luxie angled brush, which really needs to be cleaned, but I'll work on that another time. And then grab my mirror back, and just kind of put this in the crease a little bit to kind of accentuate my crease. That's just something I like doing in general. Just a tiny bit of a crease color. And since we're trying to be inspired by Reba, it's going to be purple. Actually, you blend purple in really well. Purple's like blue. You want to be really careful how you use it once you get into like the dark gray purple kind of shades. I'm also going to... Mm, do I want to dip into another shade out of this? Mm, yeah, I think... I'm going to grab that back. I think I'm going to dip right on into... Jam, which is this one right here. Ooh, jam. Just a tiny bit to deepen up my crease. I'm also trying to make my eyes look as large as possible so that I have a lot of room to play with this eyeliner. Because it's very unique. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's very unique and very different, and I don't want to make a huge mess of it. Let's get that all blended. Somewhat blended. Now I want to go into the white shade in there called Bake and kind of fluff out the edges of this on both sides. You'll notice I did not use an eyeshadow primer. I don't want anything to be super vibrant today, not as far as the eyeshadow is concerned. We're mostly trying to focus on the eyeliner. I'm also going to go ahead and grab Bake. I'm just kind of swipe it across my eyelid just to give it a little hint of brightness. Now I'm going to take a blending brush. I'll use this one from Alamar, which has been very well loved since the writing's about to come off. And then just kind of blend those two together so there's not such a harsh line. Alright, I'm not going to bother with lower lash line or anything. It's just going to be as is. And we're done with this. Now it's time for the fun slash difficult part. The eyeliner. I'm going to start by grabbing my Kajal Vasanti Waterline Eyeliner in Intense Black. I'm gonna pop. Uh, I'm gonna pop Reba back up on the screen so that you can see her eyeliner again. Um, it's very, it's a very cat eye kind of a look, but a very unique cat eye kind of look. And I'm not used to doing cat eyes, so that's gonna be very, very different. And I don't know if I should say difficult, but different. So I'm gonna go all around tight lining with this. So that's where we're starting. It's super important to note, as far as Reba's eyeliner, that it is thicker on the bottom than on the top. So to do that, I'm actually going to hold on to this, and I'm going to kind of go back under my eyes and kind of smudge that a little bit deeper to provide that like dark base. The best way to do that was just to kind of run it right along the lashes, not just, um, not just in the waterline. 
so kind of like that and then take some kind of smudging style brush I'm going to use this flat one here and kind of and make sure it's neatly smudged I know that sounds like an oxymoron but that's what we're looking for is a neat smudging and now we do it on the other side That's where we are for right now. I'm going to hold on to this eyeliner because I might need it later. I am also going to jump over to my Physician's Formula eyeliner with a nice pen tip. And first I'm going to do the line over the eyes. So the line across her eyelid is very, very thin. And I'm going to go ahead and start with that to make my life a little bit easier because that's going to be one of the more difficult bits to get even. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we will continue. All right and now we're going to start getting into the really difficult bit. I'm going to do the cat eye line straight down on the inside first and then the wing that she's got going on. Let's see how this works. This is a highly inopportune time to realize that I'm running out of eyeliner. I was wondering why I was having such a difficult time with that interior liner. It's because I'm out of liner. Or if not completely, then really close. Let me see if I've got anything. Well, this is going to be difficult, even more difficult with this guy. But I'll give it a shot. We'll see if I can tidy up these lines a little bit. That helped a little, but there's not really a whole lot I can do to save this side. I think this side is going to have to be my good side for this one. But you know what? It's a learning experience. I'm going to go ahead and do the wing. I'm going to try it with this. Give it a good shake. And I'm going to just do the regular wing and we'll move on. Okay, we're going to jump back in with the other liner on this one. Right on the struggle bus with this eyeliner. I had no idea I was this far, it was this low. I've managed to salvage the backwards wings, but not the nose portions of this side. That has most definitely ended up as a complete, complete and total struggle, thanks to not realizing I was out of eyeliner. Gonna have to be getting a new one of those soon. By soon, I mean before the next time I do my makeup. But we're going to keep moving. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I'm not going to wear a setting spray today. I'm going to use my brand new Unique Moonstruck Epic Mascara that I got from Influencer. It actually reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics Superhero. It's a little bit better at curling my lashes. And works a little bit better along my lower lashes. But overall not my not necessarily my absolute favorite mascara. I'm not too too worried about mascara as I 
don't think Rebel wears any based on the pictures. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. So, I think I'm going to, since Reba doesn't seem like she wears a whole lot of lip product, I think I'm going to find the closest thing I have to a nude lip, which I think is going to be my MAC Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in Velvet Teddy. That's the closest thing I've got to a nude. And put that on. There we go. If I'd planned this far enough in advance, I would have actually chosen a lip product and purchased one. But I'm bad at planning things. So that's it. That's the look. I was going to try to kind of mimic her shaved head hairstyle, which it's not impossible, but my hair is just too long to manage it. If you've got short hair, you can kind of flip it further over carefully. And then kind of pin back, oop, kind of pin it back behind the rest of the hair. But I just have too much hair at this point, it's grown out too far. But this is kind of her look. This actually works really well, it kind of hides the really bad liner. I also do not have a septum piercing. I have my nose dot over here, but I don't have a septum piercing, and I neglected to bring an earring in to stuff up my nose, as I know everyone has done to mimic a septum piercing. But yeah, this is what we've got. This is our Reba look. This definitely would have worked better with um, an eyeliner that, you know, actually functioned. I may, in fact, redo this at some point to, this is going to have to go, Ugh, I didn't have any bobby pins to fix that. If I had bobby pins, I could have probably made it work. But yeah, this is what we've got. It's a bit of a mess, but it's a good start. And I actually really like the way this eye turned out. I think if I'd had, like I said, if I'd had an eyeliner that worked, this would have actually turned out really cool. Um, but I didn't, so, yeah. Either way, I hope y'all liked this. Megan in particular, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this made your Christmas. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. So make sure you like and subscribe so that I know to keep making awesome videos. Bye, guys.